Listen, my son or my daughter, to the instructions of your father, the teachings of your mother. Paul said that it was important that he knew he was in a race and that he wanted to run that race in a way that he, at the end, would win. He would receive the award. I challenged my students in my Bible class this year on the characteristics of maturity. And one of the characteristics of maturity is to know that I, I, what I believe, know what I believe. We sang a song this morning to begin chapel, didn't we? I believe in God the Father. I believe in Christ His Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God is three in one. There are so many things that you can allow to shape your life, young people, that will absolutely destroy you. Now I'm going to close, but I want you to sit up real straight and I want you to listen just to my last comments. I will never change my message to you as young people. God has given you a wonderful opportunity of growth change of maturity of wonderful people working in your lives they're called teachers parents pastors godly friends but you can you can just waste those opportunities and you can remain a stick forever because God will not be mocked what you sow you will reap I can say honestly that I know that each of these teachers love you and they, their desire is to see God work in your life and for you to change and grow and mature. You know, tomorrow we graduate five seniors from this school. Regina Simarajnov, Karina Simarajnov, Daniel Karpov, Peter Nikolayachuk, Jonah Pendleton. I remember the first day that each of those young people came to this school and they sat in these seats on that first chapel day of their first year here. And I can witness to you that they are different today than they were when they came that first day. They have allowed the master woodcarver to change them. And I can honestly say that they are beautiful young people today. They can make beautiful music with their lives. Thank you for being a part of our school this year. Thank you. It's not all been good. There have been some painful things. There's been some cutting of the wood. There's been discipline. I can recall different times where I've had to give students spankings in our school. That's not fun. That hurts. That's kind of like taking a knife and cutting out a piece of wood to make a hole in that flute so it can make beautiful music, young people. But thank you that you have been here in our school this year and you have been in the process of growing and maturing. Let's stand and we'll pray and then I'm going to have Mrs. Turner come and uh, just recognize our administrator, Mrs. Solon Dankin, and thank her for a great year that we've had as Summit Christian Academy. In fact, uh, why don't you come, Mrs. Turner, before I pray and uh, we'll bless Ms. Mrs. Solon Dankin. So Mrs. Solon Dankin, would you come? <clears throat> Did you know that Jesus knows your name? He knows every hair that's on your head. He knows everything about you. And we can rest in that, but not many people know your name. Not many people know the names of everybody in here. But Mrs. Solon Dinkin does. She knows everybody's name. 
And then if you multiply that times two parents, she knows their names too. And she has all of those people on her heart and she prays for them. And when things happen in our school, when things happen in your life and she is aware of them, she goes to bed with a burden on her heart. And we want to just thank her for sticking with the school and we want her to be blessed and we want to live the way you bless her is not with a bunch of measly flowers at the end of the year. The way you bless her is to follow the Lord and to do what he says and that gives all the honor that she needs in return. So thank you very much. See if I can knock something on the floor. Thank God bless you. Exactly. I'm going to pray for us and just uh, conclude our school year. Then we're going to sing uh, that last song that we sang, I Believe. I think it's a creed, it's a decl declaration for us as young people. I mean, there are all kinds of ideologies and different ideas out there that we can believe. But wow, we have the opportunity here at Summit Christian Academy to know the truth to live the truth and Jesus Christ says I am the truth the life and the way and there is freedom in believing in God the Father Christ his Son and the Holy Spirit so we're gonna sing that song to end our chapel and then teachers will take our children back to our classroom